Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the not CSS pseudo class. Um, so this pseudo class um, essentially um, allows you to select elements that do not match a selector or a list of selectors. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate this through an example. Okay, so if I was to hop inside the HTML for this document, um, it looks like this as of right now. So to demonstrate this pseudo class, um, I'm going to make three divs in the body with a class of box. Okay, so let's go down here and make three divs with a class of box. We can copy this twice more. Okay, so now we have these three divs. Um, let's now add some styles um, for the box class. So inside the CSS up here, let's add a new rule set for the box class. Okay. Cool. Inside here, let's add a width of 100px and the same for the height. Um, let's add a border of 1px or maybe 3px solid and blue. And let's also uh, get a margin of 10px on all the sides. Okay, so now we have this style. If I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get that right there. Okay, so we have three, um, three boxes on the screen. Okay, so we're going to use the not selector um, by adding a class to one of these boxes and then selecting the boxes that are not, um, that I guess don't match this extra class. So um, inside the HTML, let's add a new class for the middle box. Let's say, um, let's just call it uh, bottle. Okay, bottle right there. Okay, so now inside the CSS, let's add a rule using the not pseudo class. So let's just say a colon and then not. All right, inside these brackets, we're going to add dot bottle. All right, so we're saying whatever does not have a class of bottle. So what doesn't match this selector inside here? We're going to add a style. Let's add a background color of red. Okay, so now we can save this one and refresh the browser and we get, okay, that's not good. The whole background is turned red. Let's just go back inside here and um, put body before this. So inside the body, with um, whatever element does not have the class of bottle, we're going to add this red background color. Okay, let's save this and refresh. And now we see, um, we also get the header, but uh, mainly we get these two red boxes uh, because they, they don't have the bottle class, which was specified inside the not pseudo class. Okay, um, so if we, want to, if, if we want to actually limit this to just the box, okay, so just these two boxes, what we can do is actually go inside here and then we can replace body with a class of box and then put that right there. So um, a class of block, uh, sorry, a, a class of box that is not a bottle, okay, the red background color. We can save this and refresh the browser. This time we only get the effect on the boxes. Okay, so we can see how um, it works in um, two ways there. We can bind it as like a like a like a child or we can put it directly on this selector right there. Okay, so one more example with this not pseudo class is we're gonna actually um we're gonna add a style to um, every box that is not the last box. Okay, so Let's do the same thing. Let's say a class of box, okay, and then not. Now inside here, we're going to put another pseudo class. We're going to put inside colon and then last of type. Okay, so now this will select. It's going to say um, a div with a class. Oh, sorry, just a, um, a, a class of box that is not the last of its own type. All right, so now... Um, Let's add, uh, let's just say um, margin, margin left 
of 100 pixels. All right. So saving this and refreshing moves those two ones to the right because they are not the last box. You can see how that pseudo class works right there. All right. And that is how you can use the not pseudo class. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.